Hello everybody. Today we will be talking on how to install Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. For doing that, first I am going to visit to their website which is keyclock.org. Now I am in their website. We can go to the downloads page using this link. Here you can see Keyclock server can be downloaded as a zip file or a gzipped file. I am going to download it as a gzipped file. Since I have already downloaded this gzipped file, I am not going to download it again. You can download this to any location in your machine. Now I am in the folder where the keyclock gzipped file is downloaded. You can see the file. Now I am going to extract this. Okay, now the file is extracted and another folder is created. Now I am going to insert that folder. You can see there are many folders and files are generated. But in this video, we are only interested in installation part. Therefore, we will be going to bin folder. Here you can see there are different types of executable files available in this folder. So you can see there is a standalone .sh file. If you are a Mac user or a Linux user, you can start the server by executing this file. If you are a Windows PC user, you can start the server using this file. Now I am going to start the server using standalone.sh file. Okay, now server is up. Now we will be visiting to the console using this URL. Auth is the context name given to this Keyclock server. Here I have got a warning message saying a potential security risk ahead because the reason is we are using HTTPS to connect to this server but the server certificate is not a valid one therefore browser is showing this warning message but since this is a local server we can ignore this warning and visit to the admin console. You are just a one page away from admin console. Here you need to create a user. It says that please create an initial administrator to get started. Since this is the first time we are going to log into the system. We need to create the user here. I am providing the username as admin. Password also admin. Okay, user is created successfully. Now we can visit the administration console. Here I am providing my credentials. Username is admin, again password is also same. Now we have successfully logged into the admin console. Here you can see there are a lot of configuration and management sections. We will be going through each section in the next video. Thank you very much.